is offered by Achievers Fuel and Service Center Corporation and Planet Drugstore Corporation. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. And welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. We are on the 31st Sunday in Ordinary Time with the theme Towards a Listening, Healing, and Loving Correctional Community. Today's Gospel, Jesus, while visiting Jericho, met Zacchaeus, a rich tax collector who was despised even by his own countrymen due to his reputation of age two corrupt, and working for the interest of the colonial master. When Jesus passed by, Zacchaeus, being short in height, climbed a sycamore tree to have a better view of the famous picture. When Jesus saw him, he pulled him down and asked if he could stay at his house to share stories with him. Zacchaeus happily agreed, while the people kept complaining. He has got to stay in the house of a sinner. Isn't he supposed to side with the righteous? Why is he being so friendly toward the scum of society? The actions of Jesus were misunderstood then, but they sent out a powerful message that he has indeed come to this world for the salvation of sinners. His plan was simple. He broke bread with this so-called public sinner, listened intently to his story, and got to know firsthand who Zacchaeus really was. This led to his spiritual Today, as we celebrate Reason Awareness Sunday, we entrust to God our brothers and sisters in prison who are being condemned and rejected by our society. As we celebrate the Eucharist, we ask God to lovingly lead them to realize their need for forgiveness not only from God, but also from the people they have hurt. We also pray that all the faithful may obtain the grace to listen intently to the stories of the marginalized people. The Mission Communications Foundation Incorporated of the Society of the Divine Word, or SPD, together with the Mercedarian School, brings you to this Eucharistic celebration of the Mercedarian School, Greater Lafro Kesson City. Our mass presider is Reverend Father John Nathan Mahatma, OFM Conven Conventual, to be celebrated by Reverend Father Santuis SPD, Executive Producer of Family TV Mass. Our choir for today's mass is the Mercedarian Students. Choir. Let us now all stand and join our voices in singing of our endless game.
Let us pray. Merciful Father, you rejoice at being in the company of those despised by society and recognize the need for your forgiveness. Grant that all of us, especially our brothers and sisters in prison, be renewed by the experience of peace that comes from repentance and from your love. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated and let us listen to the Word of God. Sometimes we wonder why God is so patient with sinners. This short passage from the Book of Wisdom 
gives us the answer which is based on the truths of that God is the creator of all and loves all his creatures immensely. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. Before the Lord, the whole universe is as a grain from a balance, or a drop of morning dew come down upon the earth. But you have mercy on all, because you can do all things, and you overlook people's sins that they may repent. For you love all things that are, and loathe nothing that you have made. For what you hated, you would not have passion. And how could a thing remain unless you willed it? Or be preserved, had it not been called forth by you? But you spare all things, because they are yours, O Lord and lover of souls. For your imperishable spirit is in all things. Therefore, you rebuke offenders little by little. Warn them and remind them of the sins they are committing, that they may abandon their wickedness and believe in you, O Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. In this brief text, the Apostle Paul offers a simple prayer for the faithful of Thessalonica and reassures them about the second coming of the Lord. A reading is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, we always pray for you that our God may make you worthy of his calling and powerfully bring to fulfillment every good purpose and every effort of faith. That the name of our Lord Jesus may be glorified in you and you in him. In accord with the grace of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, we ask you, brothers and sisters, 
with regards to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our assembling with him, not to be shaken out of your mind suddenly or to be alarmed either by a spirit or by an oral statement or by a letter allegedly from us to the effect that the day of the Lord is at hand. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. So love the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus came to Jericho and intended to pass through the town. Now a man there named Zacchaeus, who was the chief tax collector, also a wealthy man, was seeking to see who Jesus was. But he could not see him because of the crowd, for he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree in order to see Jesus, who was about to pass that way. When he reached the place, Jesus looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down quickly, for today I must stay at your house. Zacchaeus came home and came down quickly and received Jesus with joy. When they all saw this, they began to grumble, saying, He has gone to stay in the house of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Behold, half of my possession, Lord, I shall give to the poor. And if I have extorted anything from anyone, I shall repay it four times over. And Jesus said to him, Today, salvation has come to this house because this man, too, is a descendant of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save what was lost. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Uh, with your permission, a blessed day to everyone. Hello. Hi. How are you today? Good. So we just heard the wonderful readings that we have for today as we celebrate you know, the uh, beautiful Sunday in ordinary time. And we heard in the gospel about the, uh, the encounter between Zacchaeus and Jesus, no? And when he climbed on a mango tree, where? In sycamore tree. Have you seen a sycamore tree? Wala pa, no? Manga. Mango tree. Similar, no? We don't have here a sycamore tree. If you can visit Israel, probably yes, no? So, this wonderful episode of the encounter of Jesus and Zacchaeus is the very encounter of God. A merciful God, so merciful to those persons or people who need mercy and forgiveness. No? And uh, nakita naman natin si Zacchaeus when, when he heard Jesus passing, passing about, passing through, trying to imagine people actually crowding with Jesus, no? Siksikan yan. Makita natin yung uh, creativity ni Zacchaeus. He's very intelligent, no? So he went ahead. 
kung saan pupunta si Jesus and he climbed the sycamore tree in order to have a good vision of Jesus. And to his surprise, Jesus stopped and he turned his gaze on Zacchaeus. At hindi lang lumingon si Jesus kay Zacchaeus tinawag pa ang kanyang pangalan. Zacchaeus! Bumaba ka. Come down. Oh my goodness. No? With all the people, bakit ako? I'm an outcast. Kasi, tax collector. They are considered traitors. At kakampi ng ng Roman Empire na sumakop sa kanila. No? Hindi po yung madali. But when Zacchaeus heard his name, parang bago lahat. Especially when Jesus said, no, Zacchaeus, come down. No? I will dine no, at your house. Bumaba ka dyan, kakain ako sa bahay ninyo. Walang sabi-sabi, bumaba siya. Then conversion happened. At na-demonstrate yung kanyang charity. At bago nangyari yun, he was able to even recognize his sinfulness before Jesus. Para bang pag nakaharap mo si Jesus, talagang point blank, black and white pa din, lalabas ang buong pagkatama mo. Wala kami tatago. Kaya nangyari kay Zegayus, ibinigay niya ang kanyang sarili. Naging generous siya. Minsan ganyan din sa buhay natin, baka marami na, especially young people, mga millennials, exposed sa, as we enjoy the development of the, uh, the technology of the social media. Many of the young people used to shout out, di ba? So sa FB, I'm bored, I'm happy, I'm blessed. No? O sa Instagram, you used to post whatever you feel, anong feeling mo of that day at that very moment, sinashout out natin yan. Bakit ganun? Most likely, walang kumikilala sa atin, walang pumapansin. Parang walang nakakarinig sa atin. Kaya most of the young people doon pupunta sa social media. Baka sakal may makinig, mag-like, mag-comment. No? Yun po. Same thing with Zacchaeus. No? Bigat natin siya sa kanyang kanagayan. Because almost every time kapag siya naniningil ang buwi sa kanyang kababayan, minumura siya. Kinukutya siya. He's malign. Hindi niya magawa because he's part of the system. Mahirap. You're part of the system of corruption, of injustice, and you cannot get out. But there... There is Jesus, the person of Jesus who recognized him in spite of the fact na ganun siya. Yung pala epekto, epekto ng Jesus, no? Kapag lumingon sa iyo si Jesus when he turned his gaze on you, whatever condition or statue that we have in our lives, nang bibiktima tayo in terms of injustice at tayo din biktima ng system of injustice, we may able to rise up. No? To remove the shackle no? o chains ng slavery o pagkakaalipin ng kasalanan and injustice. And since we are celebrating today the, uh, the Prince of Mason Sunday, no? sa mga kapatid natin nasa loob ng piitan, Naalala ko tuloy when I once celebrated the Mass in a certain city jail, no? I was invited to hear confession. And maraming pulis, no? Bardyado yung mga, yung mga preso para mangupisan. The first one na nilabas ng warden and with eight, no? Na mga pulis, mukhang kilabot yata to. No? And then, Dahandang inilapit sa akin, malaking mama. Parang si Brutus, no? Laki, tanggad. Nakupo ko ganyan. And then from a distance, 
Nagbe-wait nun yung mga pulis. And then sabi nung mama, no, may team siya, malaki, galit. Father, sa palagay mo ba, kayang patawarin ng Diyos ang aking mga kasalanan? Do you think that God can forgive me? I killed so many people na. At those, who, those people na sumalbay sa akin, pag ako'y nakatakas dito, pagpapatayin ko sila. And then there was a pause between him and me. And then I prayed. And then I told him, you know kapatid, walang kasalanan malaki man o abot man ng langit ang di kayang patawarin ng Panginoon Diyos. There's no sin so great that cannot be forgiven by God. Lalong-lalo na if that person is humble enough to accept na siya nagkamali. And then there was a pause. And then yung mama, to my surprise, tumululuha niya. Nagulat ako. Sabi niya, Father, totoo ba yan? Yes. Totoo ito. And then, lumuhod siya. Then sabi niya, Father, mungungumpisal ako. I do believe that God can still forgive me. Yes, of course. We have a merciful God. He's touching you right now. Mahal ka niya sa kabila. Siguro naging biktima ka din ng masalimut na sitwasyon ng buhay. And then, the second confession occurred. And also to my surprise, pagbaba, pagalis ng mamang yun, ilamot pala sa loob ng preso yun. Mar nagpilahan ng mga preso, inapot ako ng gabi. Because to their consideration, if this man has a chance to be forgiven by God, kami pa kaya. So nagpilahan sila. Because Jesus turned His face on them. Giving them hope. At anong laki ng kasalanan can be forgiven by God. What we need to do is to humble ourselves, to recognize that we have sinned, na nagkasala tayo, and we need God's grace for us to be strengthened in our own weakness and weaknesses. Remember the words of St. Paul? In our weakness, the power of God no, will be made manifest. Kahit na sa ating kainan, kahinaan, at kasalanan, Still, ang kapangyarihan ng Diyos ay mahayag. Especially for those people who approach God with humility. Ay kung hambog ka, puro kayabang, malabo. Mahirap. But Jesus, no? Know the very pintig ng ating puso. Alam niya yan. Ipinapakita ng Diyos na ang Diyos natin, Siya bilang Diyos ay very personal. You can talk to Him even privately. Ang maganda mga kapatid, subukan mo magdasal. Even not saying a word. Yes. Even not saying a word. Just sit down. Be silent. And look at Jesus. Lord, here, I'm, here I am. Oh. I don't know what to say. I'm hurt, I'm discouraged, but I'm hopeful and I pray I put my trust in you. Then grace will come over you. Then the gaze of Jesus will turn to you and he will call you by name. Is that beautiful? Yes, it is beautiful. Ibig sabihin na nag exist ka. Dahil naging exist ka, sumisibol ka, no? umiiral ka, importante ka. 
Maybe we might be like Zacchaeus, short, o sabi natin kapos. Minsan kinakapos tayo ng pagsunod sa Panginoon. Kinakapos tayo sa pakikinig. Kinakapos tayo sa pagsunod. Mga patid, it is not enough to listen the Word of God. We are not just listeners of the Word of God. And after that, finish na. No. We are also doers of the Word of God. We are doers of the Word of God, not only listeners. Imitating the Blessed Mother when she listened to the Word of God and fulfilling His divine desire, she obeyed. And that, that Word, the eternal Word was impregnated in her womb. And then pumasok na ang kaligtasan. Thanks be to God. Ganyan tayo kamahal ng Diyos. Our God is a personal God. What we need to do is magpayakap tayo kay Jesus. Maging sino ka man. Ano mang kalagay mo, kalagay ng buhay na meron ka. Ano mang edad mo, whatever. Because by virtue of your baptism, we were incorporated in Christ. We have that newness in Christ. A new life in Christ. What we need to do again is to collaborate, to recognize, to accept that we are loved. And for that reason, makakagawa ng kahangahangang bagay ang Panginoon sa iyo. Yes, sa iyo. It's like what happened to Zacchaeus. No? Hindi pinapansin, outcast, pero nag-effort. He went ahead, umakyat, in order to see Jesus. Gawin din natin yun. Kinakapos tayo, hindi natin makita si Jesus. Make an effort. Search for Jesus. Journey with Jesus. And live with Jesus. Please all stand. Together we will press our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, more than the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. He rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord whose love for us is much greater than our sins. May He grant us the humility to recognize our own shortcomings and the need of for his, for, for his need for forgiveness, let us pray. Loving Father, make us a listening, healing, and loving community. Loving Father, make us a listening, healing, and loving community. For the Holy Father, Pope Francis, the bishops, priests, and religious, may they see the growing need for the church to constantly witness to the compassionate Christ, whose mercy and for forgiveness restored us back to the Father. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, make us a listening, healing, and loving community. For our world leaders, may they respond with wisdom and humility to the present crisis caused by selfishness and greed. As they look for solution to this problem, may they recognize and repent for their own shortcomings and neglect that have contributed to the spread of poverty, violence, and hatred in our world. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, make us a listening, healing, and loving community. For all victims of crimes, may they see that it is only by forgiving their offenders that they will be totally healed of the hurts they suffered. May they be strengthened through the love of God and the concrete support of their family and community. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, make us a listening, healing, and loving community. For all prisoners and crime offenders, may they recognize the wrong that they have caused to their neighbor and realize their need to be forgiven by God and the people they have hurt. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, make us a listening, healing, and loving community. For all those who are involved in the prison ministry, may they be constantly renewed by God's forgiving love and be transformed into His likeness. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, make us a listening, healing, and loving community. For all of us gathered in this celebration, may we see ourselves as people who are imperfect and in need of constant renewal and transformation. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, make us a listening, healing, and loving community. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray. Loving Father, make us a listening, healing, and loving community. Merciful Father, we find it difficult to acknowledge our sins and failures. Cleanse our hearts and teach us to be obedient to you. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
please all stand. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Lord our God, in your mercy, you restored us to you. Accept the prayers and gifts we offer for those who are in prison. May they be reconciled to you and those they have of ended. Grant this to Christ, O Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right and just our duty and salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we have lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more given thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we drink this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that we held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with our Pope Francis, our Bishop, uh, His Excellency uh, uh, Bishop Ga, uh, the clergy, and all your faithful people gathered here and those who are uh, viewing our Mass. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the delight of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. First Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace be with you. Peace be with you.
of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us all stand and together we pray the Oratio Imperata prayer against COVID-19. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, our Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Saint Joseph. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. San Roque. San Lorenzo Ruiz. San Pedro Calungsod. Blessed Mother Margarita Lopez de Maturana. Holy Family. Let us now bow our heads as we join the prayer of the unity of all families to be led by the Dimaandal family. God our Father, loving and merciful, bring together and keep all families in perfect unity of love and mutual support. Infuse in each member the spirit of understanding, forbearance, and affection for each other. Keep quarrels, bitterness, and pettiness far from them and their occasional failures, instill forgiveness and peace. May the mutual love and affection of parents be a source of loving obedience and discipline. May their chastity and fidelity be an inspiration for their children. Instill in children such self-respect that they may respect others, obey their parents, and those in authority and grow in mature independence and the tender joy of friendship. May, May the mutual affection and respect of families, a sign of Christian life, here and hereafter, through Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. On behalf of Mercedarian School Incorporated, we would like to express our gratitude to Reverend Father John Nathan Maagma, and Reverend Father Bell San Luis for celebrating the Mass today. Also, we give thanks to all our sponsors, our parent council officers, current and former, and representatives, all Mercedarian family, all the Mass servers for today, and all the choir, and all who, has, who are gathered here today. Maraming maraming salamat po. Yung, um, 
Homily ni Father ay napakaganda at uh, gusto ko lamang dagdagan ng konti po. No? Hindi uh, humili ito, kundi uh, dagdag lang. Um, alam ninyo, yung sinabi niya tungkol sa kay Sakayos, he was a tax collector. Eh, yung mga tax collector, alam naman ninyo, mga panunuhol at uh, bribery at uh, nangyayari din ngayon. No? Uh, kaya may nagsabi na may tatlong uri daw ng panonohol, no? Yung isa under the table, no? Yung isa naman over the table. Yung pinakamasahol, including the table. So, uh, I don't know if this is happening in our tax uh, uh, collection uh, offices. But uh, it's not only uh, uh, bribery, but uh, of course corruption. Uh, in the government and, and other offices. Pero uh, as Father said, ay kailangan yung uh, pagsisisi, kailangan yung pagbabago. Kaya mga brothers and sisters, uh, tayong lahat ay makasalanan. Kaya kailangan yung pagsisisi at pagbabago. Kaya pwede ba? Tignan ninyo ang inyong mga katabi, tignan nga ninyo ang mga katabi ninyo. Sabihin nyo sa kanya, kaya kapatid, magbago ka na. Yan. Magbago ka na. Yan. At hindi lang magbago, magsisi sa mga kasalanan. Oh. Oh. Pero nakikita ko yung mga iba nakatingin sa akin, ano? Eh, uh, huwag kayong mag -aala. magpabago rin ako. Thank you. So, my dear brothers and sisters, um, <clears throat> I would like uh, to thank this, uh, uh, the uh, <clears throat> executive producer of the Family TV Mass, uh, the following, and a special uh, occasion as uh, the 40th uh, founding anniversary. Unang-una sa lahat, yung chairwoman, Sister Norma Atilano, MMB. Uh, nasaan ba siya? Palapakan natin. Right over here. Thank you. Oh, mamaya. Yung directress naman, yung directress, Sister Maria Flordelis Calicit, MMB. Maybe no. Uh, where is uh, okay. Uh -oh. Then uh, the principal, Dr. Carmela Oracion. May we know? Please uh, be uh, recognized uh, uh, over there. At the um, president. Ang Parents Teachers Council, Attorney Evelyn Beltran. Uh, maybe know where you are. Uh, I don't uh, record. And of course, uh, our Reverend uh, Father uh, uh, John Nathan Magma, OFM Convention. Uh, Convention. Thank you, Father. And he is uh, parish priest of the St. Maximilian Kolbe Parish. Then uh, I'd like to thank also the uh, uh, Barangay Kaligayan and Baleches, isu pala yung uh, uh, lugar ng Quezon City. At uh, isama na rin dati, uh, isama rin natin ay si uh, isang seminarista, si Brother Jerome Matugas, O-Plate of the Apostles of the New, yeah, of the new Heart. Then, we thank also the uh, uh, Mercedarian School Coro, uh, Malaya for their beautiful singing. Thank you. 
The organists, Mr. Gabriel Adrian Perez and Mr. Richard De Leon. Over there. And uh, conductor, Miss Julie Robes. The commentator and assistant principal for student affairs, Mr. Raymond Gubat. Okay, Family prayer, the Mandal family. Okay, thank you. The Mercedarian School TV Mass Coordinator, Miss Joanne Christy Pichai. To all the other officials, administrators, and board of trustees of Mercedarian School, uh, thank you. To the students, To the students, parents, faculty, personnel, and staff, uh, to the mass goers, lectors, offerers, <laughs> lay ministers, altar server, collectors, televiewers, here and abroad, sponsors, and advertisers. Thank you, thank you very much. And God bless you all. Please all stand. Let us pray. <clears throat> Almighty and merciful God, you do not abandon the sinners but seek them out with the Father's love. May we who have been nourished in this sacrament be a model of compassion and understanding, especially towards our brothers and sisters in prison. We ask this, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Amen. May the Lord make you actively concerned about those who are separated from Him. Amen. Amen. May he strengthen in you the resolve to live an upright life despite all temptation to the contrary. Amen. May he turn your steps towards Himself and show you the path of charity and peace. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.
Family TV Mass was offered by Achievers Fuel and Service Center Corporation and Planet Drugstore Corporation.